what is up you guys it's your girl passion welcome back to my channel Mom, for real, <laughs> you decided to start coming in. Yeah, because you telling me party to do this. Yeah, group. party how you want it to be party. I anyway, y'all, so we up in the morning. I'm going home today, and I'm about to do She's this lady here. scene. I would. She's oh, girl. Girl. <sighs> anyway, so this to be for. Um, oh, you got to say, period. Go like this, Mom. Period. Period. <laughs> I call you honey a little bit. This lady, he showed the people that you are nice. <laughs> you don't want to play no games? Yeah, what? Me out. Mom, stop telling my people. Okay, she's not checking me out. Mom, I'm going to shut up like the dead. I was thinking about it. Don't tell me everything you can move to. They're not on me. Watch it Oh, I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I can't see. <laughs> oh, I can, but you can't. Okay. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> he was like, what happened? <laughs> had no baby hairs like that y'all i just did my mom little sideburn swoop blue don't play with her turn around mom don't play with her she ain't never had that like that y'all she always just curl hers period period <laughs> i'm done she up here she thought i was recording she trying to tell me oh ow to y'all i said i'm not even recording while you trying to fade wow crazy now she cute what else you said you tight or you hard or girl what mom do not mess up my baby ears you seek you do whatever you want to do once i get home leave them alone you picking at them leave them alone y'all know when y'all mom used to pop y'all in the forehead or the hand with a comb oh she put her hand down 
Stop it. And I barely touched her. She's dramatic. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, God. We outside, y'all. Looking at the beautiful waterfall. And it's beautiful, too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to blame. Y'all, this is my breakfast for today. French toast, sausage, got some cream of wheat, some more pineapple, and some green tea. And they had the little flower on there like this. So pretty. Purple is my mom's favorite color. That's why I be putting purple hearts um, when I be responding to y'all sometimes. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's much better. I cannot wait to make a scary Hello Kitty. <laughs> Very mean. How much water are you drink? He gonna say no. I heard you. Hey y'all, I'm at my mom's house. I had to step out for a minute. I'll be right back. Take a breather. I've been packing stuff up and throwing stuff away and taking stuff to Goodwill. As of right now, I'm doing everything by myself. Um, yesterday was Thanksgiving. I'm getting my mom prepared to move with me. And the last couple of days I've been here have not been good days for her. Um, today she's really not talking much. Only if I ask her a question, but she's not really responding. She's just saying that she's tired and she'll nod her head and stuff like that. But yeah, so... I just wanted to give y'all an update my faces. I don't even care. Oh, man. <clears throat> but anyways, I'm about to go back in the house. I just wanted to step out for a second. So, I'll talk to y'all another time. Whew. Hey, y'all. I'm sweating. I'm moving stuff. My edge control is all white. I'm moving stuff around in my room. The medical people are here to bring my mom's um, bed and stuff and all her equipment. So <clears throat> everything is all junky. They came kind of early. I thought they was going to come later. But yeah, so moving the stuff so she can be in the room with me and whatever else I need to adjust. I'm just going to adjust it. Um, but yeah, so this is for right now. Y'all yeah, been so busy. Um, I haven't really been vlogging. I've been, like, doing pieces here and there. So, I'm just glad they're here to set this stuff up. I gotta go pick my son up from school after this. Um, <clears throat> I need to donate some stuff from Goodwill. I'm just hoping that this stuff can be set up before, uh, I need to go pick up my son, which is gonna be... I need to be leaving in a few minutes. Also, it's the oxygen tank back there, too. So, anywho, um, I was just coming to update y'all, and I'll call y'all later. Y'all, when I say this is one of the hardest times of my life, like, I mean, like, one of the hardest times ever, and... The time where you're supposed to, to me, these are the times that family is supposed to stick together. Um, and it's unfortunate that I see a lot of this happen, not just in my life. But um, when you're grieving someone who is passing or who has passed, it's like, um, I don't know, it's like a division in families 
People try to take over stuff. There's greed. There's anger. And in my my case, I'm just I am just trying to take care of my mother. That's all I've been praying for. Like <clears throat> I've been praying every day. I was doing good with not crying as much a day, but when I say y'all, I'm not even telling y'all everything. It is a lot. It is a lot. And I told y'all the last updated video that I posted, um, well, yeah, about what's going on with my mom and stuff, um, I'm very private when it comes to a lot of things. I'm very private. And I just feel weird talking about these kind of things because it's a very touching matter. This is my mother and my family. Like, this is stuff that you, you don't play with. Um, But I feel like for me, like I always tell y'all, YouTube, doing my videos is like my diary, you know. And in this situation, these moments, I'll never get back again. Um, it'll just be memories of how I felt in that time, what was going on in that time, um, moments with my mother. Now, I just want to do everything that I can do because the reality is I'm never going to be able to do. <clears throat> the reality is, is that I'm never going to be able to do it again. So, um... I don't know, it's just hard seeing your loved one, like, deteriorate, like, my mother, you know? Like, her being able to do stuff for her and then have to totally depend, and then have to um totally, totally depend on people, you know? Um, but, like I said, this is in my journey. A lot of y'all know that um, caregiving, CNA, home health aid, like, was my job at one point. And I even told y'all that I don't think I even want to do that anymore. Um, but this is in my journey. And I just want to see my mom through the very end. I'm praying. I'm praying. She's supposed to be um, coming tomorrow. So... Today is Tuesday. I came home yesterday. Um, it was Thanksgiving weekend. Well, before Thanksgiving, I went down there and I've been there up until today. Um, I'm being, I'm sorry, up until yesterday. So these few hours that I have been home um, <clears throat> from Monday, which is Tuesday, and now I'm like, I didn't even think I was going to be able to fall asleep. It took me a while because she is, I just been worried. I just want her to be here. Like, I just want to be comforting to her. I want to spend her last times with her. I don't want her to be not around me. I'm not sure if that's selfish. I really don't care if it is, to be honest. <laughs> Wait, Today is November 30th. Hey, y'all. So, um, I don't even remember the last thing I was talking to y'all about besides, like, family. And when it comes to stuff like this, um, you see, I'm not even gonna say, I probably already said that, but it's not just because of hiding emotions and anger and stuff like that, um, it's all it also comes down to who the person is on the inside and their character and stuff like this just brings out people's characters because sometimes when I get upset um and it could be a small thing that somebody else doing it don't have nothing to do with them and I might lash out on them but I work on that because it has nothing to do with that person but, but some people no matter who did it or whatever, you just have ill intentions on the inside and you put that on to someone else that has nothing to do with that situation. If that makes sense to y'all, my brain is kind of scattered um, with all the stuff going on. But 
when I tell y'all this has been a hard time, um, <clears throat> but I've been being as strong as I possibly can. Um, another thing, y'all, I've been getting a lot of like um, numbers, like angel numbers and stuff, and I've been looking up um, certain things, and it's like, you know, when you see on the clock or you might be out somewhere, you might be at the store and your total comes up to a certain number. Like I've been getting a lot of numbers and confirmation from God that's telling me that I'm on the right path. I'm doing the right thing. Um, and I'm not doing this for my mom to get anything in return. Um, <clears throat> I just want to see my mom through this. Like I want my mom to be with me. I feel like this is what I need in me to be able to move forward um, in my life and in my journey. And I feel like my mom needs this as well. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, y'all. This is going to be hard. This is going to be really hard. It's already hard now. But usually when I go through situations and I'm struggling, I might break down here and there. But I always find a way to get through it. God always told me through it. This is, I don't even know, this is probably the most I've ever prayed for sanity, for strength, for positive energy around me um, in my home, within me, myself having positive energy, but more so from the people that's around me and any distractions. Like I've been praying so much, y'all. I've been praying so much. Um, a lot of y'all been sending me comments and stuff like that. And like I said before, this is a, this is a touchy situation to talk about, but this is what I'm going through. And before it got to um, this extent with my mom, I've already been talking to y'all about a new journey that I've started being open um, you know, finding out who I am and stuff and not being afraid to share more things or be vulnerable. Um, <clears throat> so that's a big part of why I'm doing this video. This is my second video speaking about this, but, um, man, when I tell y'all, it's just been so much and some of y'all, also left comments and told me, you know, that you've lost your mom and, you know, what I'm going through, how hard it was, um, how hard it still is to move forward. And I think the last clip when I was talking to y'all, my mom's current nurse had called me in. Um, her words were really comforting and it, I know it was a blessing from God. Like, I, that's what I needed to hear. She related with me about her mother. She t um, took care of her mother. She had siblings that um, didn't do anything for her. And she said, it was, you know, it was a lot. Losing a mother, a parent is, is very, very hard. But find the strength, um, pray. Like, she really talked to me. I can't think of every single thing um, right now. But y'all i'm like i got when i got the phone with her i just started crying i'm like this is what i needed to hear even though it's hard these little things have been happening like today <clears throat> when i went to the store a lot of people were just being kind saying good morning a few people gave me compliments today just regularly i got a few laughs with um the cashier at the store and another guy who was in the store bothering the cashier and i made a joke with him and stuff like that so i don't know i just been feeling guilty i haven't been eating like that i've been eating once a day like before bed um <clears throat> and that's because i've been forcing myself to at least eat something but i don't know i feel sick to my stomach every time i eat i just feel like i want to throw up um, then I feel guilty. I feel like I shouldn't be eating. <clears throat> I feel like, um, I shouldn't be eating. And I have to remind myself that like last night, my son and I and my, um, sister, we was just on the phone on FaceTime, just cracking jokes, talking about memories about, you know, my mom and, um, when they were kids, I was telling them different things when I was a kid and I have an older sibling. Um, I have a brother. So different things, um, 
you know, different things when we was laughing, it was running through my mind because I have to be strong for the kids. Like I have to be. And I'm like, <clears throat> it's okay to have fun. It's okay to laugh, you know, and not keep everything all bottled up. That was the time that I needed to do that. But I was feeling guilty in my head, you know, thinking about my mom and what she's going through and what she's feeling and just seeing, watching her health decline just like that from days of me being there right before Thanksgiving, um, you know, her eating a few things before coming down to two noodles, two noodles from the macaroni and cheese that I made. I cooked and all that stuff. Um, and what else did she taste? The potato salad, like a little slither off of a spoon, you know, and then now it's just She's just drinking water, soda, you know, juice if she wants to, and that's it. Not eating anymore. So just in a matter of dope, that short period of time, every day, things were changing. Um, whew, But yeah, like I said, it's going to be more stuff that I talk to y'all about, um, I'm sure. This is just a part of it right now. Today is the day... Um, that my mom is supposed to be coming up here. Yesterday I talked to y'all, which was Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. And I've been doing stuff, getting prepared. Um, I'm washing her blanket and stuff like that right now. I'm going to make her bed. Um, I've cleared off of my bed. I need to make it up. All the stuff that I had everywhere on the floor. I'm finding places to put this, put that. And stuff that I'm just like, I don't even care. I'm going to donate it just to get it out the way so I have enough room for the nurses to come in, my mom. And we just feel comfortable, you know? Um, so, yeah. So, that's what I'm about to do right now. Um, I'm about to make her bed and stuff. And I have to go to Goodwill, excuse me, to donate this stuff that I'm donating. It's so much. I got to clear out my mom's apartment. Um, <clears throat> I already started clearing her storage out, but I don't have no help to move it. So it, it was just me. I was in the storage, clearing everything out, going through what I could, getting pictures, you know, stuff like that. And the same with her apartment. Um, I'm praying that they let me just leave the stuff in there because I can't leave my mom at my home and then go clear out the apartment and stuff like that. So I, I pray that they just let me leave the stuff in there for right now. Um, and I do what I need to do when that time comes. But I know it's going to be more struggle days, more emotional days and all that. I know. But right now, I just want to focus on what's going on right now. So, um... So, yeah, y'all, anywho, um, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And <clears throat> please bear with me um, if I'm not answering questions on, like, my old videos, prison wife videos and stuff like that. Some um, people I have responded to, but please bear with me. I have a lot going on. Like, I really do. I have a lot going on. Um but uh yeah so um i love y'all i hope y'all having a blessed day a blessed month um keep moving forward keep the strength i pray for my strength and i will see y'all in another one
I love you, Mama. I love you, Mama.